This part here, originally the part was made out of aluminum. It was an anodized part. They were using a steel stud assembly. And what they had to wind up doing was to keep it captivated, they needed to use two small cross pins. They needed to have it A, Rojas compliant. So that means no CAD plating, no any type of caustic environmental issues with the parts. So what we did was we came up with the design of making the uh, honeycomb out of a composite material called Ultem and we use stainless steel for everything else, the stud assembly, the spring, and the cross pin. They liked it, they used it. We came up with nine different drawings of nine different ways that they could use this. One of the ways was to make this pre-assembled. They were having issues with assembling the part, so what we did was we came up with an answer to that by making it and putting it in with a snap ring. So we supplied the insert in a kit the stud assembly pre-assembled, so all they had to do is after they epoxied in the honeycomb, they drop the stud in, and then with a special tool that we designed for them, they take this little ring, put it on the end of the stud, like so, push it on, and it snapped into a groove, and they had the assembly all done. So they saved on their assembly time for one panel. It was taking them almost all day. They could do a panel in a little under an hour. And actually it's less expensive. But what we wind up doing is saying to the customer, okay, we'll make the part. There's no charge for the R&D or the tooling. It may not be the same thing that you give us when we give it back to you, but it's gonna be something that you will want and use.